you in here. Yay! Hello! Hello, hello! How do I do Hello, this? hello! How hello, do we're getting hello. Occam back now. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Welcome. All right, let's do this. Hello, uh, hello, hello. We're just coming out of our break screen on our side. We we sent everybody away. We've been going for a, a, quite a few hours here. Uh, yeah. Yay! I put on my matching glasses to you. I, I quickly popped over so oh, what you sick. were wearing. Thank you. I'm glad we're matching. Yeah, yeah they are actually very similar. Or they might even be the yeah, same right? ones. That's amazing. I, I, I appreciate the uh, tribute. Thank you. Uh, though yeah. I will have to say I ripped I ripped mine from our dear old mother Jones. She was the first one to rock this type of glasses. So, uh. <laughs> yo, we're one minute and twenty before we go in, and the trailer's gonna play, and then uh, I'll let you all know that we're right. Okay, are you gonna play it into the um? Are you gonna play it into the, the oh. call or? Or should I? Yeah, mute? share it into the call because it's really on I, I will share it on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you yeah, could share yeah, it into the call, that'd be great because um, then we'd be able to. Then everybody would be able to see it. Because right now I just got the call up right now, so. Okay. Yeah. Because I yeah I was already live, so. I can figure this out in the fifty seconds we have. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's usually yeah. how go around here. <laughs> Wait, we know who this is in the in the lower right. Yes, it's our very one and only silent. That's correct. We brought a, a guest to make sure you were comfortable. Yay! I appreciate it. Where, where is it? Oh, here it is. Nintendo's with Demon Mama. Okay. Um, so here. Hold on. I better I better put on push to talk. Give me a second here. Uh, Elle would have been there, been here, but she has gone to get some mup. Oh, Classic. yes, indeed. I I have I have cons uh, under consumed caffeine today, but that's all right. Similar boat, same hat actually. So yeah, everybody. Um, we're gonna get a really cool trailer that was made by Occam's right. Blazer. Yeah, we're about to play it. Would it help if I shared the the? No worry. No worry. Okay. I, I got pop them. Don't worry. Twenty seconds since nothing. Let's do it. <laughs> Strap in. Nothing yeah. but Get ready, everybody. It's awesome. This panel, this thing is really cool. Professional <laughs> streamers. Hey, here we go. It's Let's watch playing it. right now. Whoop. They're back. They're gay. And they're a couple of mares. Giddy up, you wild stallion. Why the fuck is it not playing? Oh, no. Oh, what? It started playing. It was it, playing. I'm sorry, everyone. It was not <gasps> it, playing on this side. I don't know why. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no it was oh, playing. No. It was playing on it's here. terrible. It was playing. You yeah, it was playing it. on my end for a second. I mean, it was playing just like the music, right? Oh, no, the, the whole, whole thing was playing. Yeah, the whole thing was playing. It was good. Oh, about on the stream side. <laughs> on the stream side, it wasn't. That's what I meant. But anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, please work. Is it working now? Oh my god! <laughs> big chaos, big chaos. <laughs> this is what happens when I try I, I to could, I could it. always uh, just mute the call and then watch it so that y'all can watch it on your stream and then I can play your stream on a slight delay. <laughs> it's... Oh my god. It's for some reason not even like working anymore. This is so uh, just, weird. just cut Don't us. Worry. We'll Don't play. Worry. How yeah. about this? How about this? Just bring us up on our stream. They've seen this trailer once. Let's let's give the Demon Mama crowd this trailer so they can see the fun trailer we made. And I and we'll just get this playing. Thing. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> they're gay, and they're a couple of mares. Giddy up, you wild stallions. It's Hector from the B-movie game Rhyme. It's gas station hot dog Occam. They'll take your tum-tums. They'll move your cow. It's the Super Nintendo's. Welcome back, Thimbos. Featuring unintentional Diet Coke mascot, Demon Mama. I love it. You know? Yay. They're all right. 
Where are I? Why is it playing again yeah. now? This is some bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Fucking hell. What a mess. Hello, everyone. God damn it. Wow. Okay. I'm here now for it. Give Listen, me just our... one I'm here second. for it. What a fucking mess. What a fucking mess. Oh. Anyway, welcome well, back, everyone. God damn it. Oh, Yay. hell's back. Oh my god, yeah, break break my break everything. No, Go. just do do hide hide non-camera participants and you're good to go, Occam. Oh, you're right. I love you. There we hey, go. I love you too, buddy. What? what is my camera doing? Everything has moved. I hate you. I hate all of you. Has this been a good chaotic like energy? Like how is how are things going? How was your interview before this? Yeah, oh, was it been really this? really good? No, this has been great. Like don't don't worry about it. Listen, these the the tools that we use are incredibly messy. It's not your fault. Um, but oh, yeah, the interview was great. Uh, how's how's y'all stream been going? Oh, uh, it's all right. We played a fucked on a Valheim and I've never played it before so that was pretty interesting it's pretty fun huh uh, you, you played it after a bit yeah I played it uh I played it quite a bit actually and we played on stream um I played with silent uh, they they uh they had the the grand vision of building a gay Denny's uh gay Viking Denny's and uh we all succeeded on it I did not assist very much besides gathering lots of wood while arguing with uh, a series of various uh, uh, varying levels of good faith actors um because it was uh i don't know i was it's a video game stream and sometimes you do debates but yeah you know it's a good game, good game. Yeah. what's that like i i, I didn't pay attention that you got oh wait you got rated didn't you oh that was uh that was during the the 10k stream but um but no uh like i just on on gaming stream nights that i do which is sundays uh i usually leave my calls open for like contention like if people have a contention with some one of my takes or whatever and i let people come on and debate and we had some good ones and then we had some silly ones um and so yeah i was very <laughs> distracted from uh helping with the gay denny's but but nonetheless it turned out fantastic so uh props to for, silent for, for that this one, for, for this one we would like to to leave politics at the door a little bit that's uh, fine because I, I understand you must be tired of doing that like all of the time and we have like some light-hearted questions to ask you like to me get to, tired to of know politics Demon Mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if, if we can get you out of politics yeah yeah please do permanently uh, we're yeah. trying permanently forever <laughs> we're getting Yo, you out i see we're, you want you already out of the game we're getting you out it. and that's gonna be better <laughs> i see i'm like that's oh, yeah, what that's no, what no, the no. horses was, was all about it's like i'm a horse with a broken leg you're gonna take me out back and it's just over for me right <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely oh. Shit, you decoded us. Oh no, fuck, <laughs> hi. Uh, yeah, so feel free to hit uh, me with no, whatever. No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah. yeah. Well, so to start off, we just wanted to like, so we we uh, are mostly a video game stream these days. Uh, when we started out, we thought about maybe doing a little politics, and then we were like, you know what? Most of our friends that come here watch a lot of politics streams. Let's give them a place to like take a break from that uh, and instead watch us try and beat Super Nintendo games that are old and bad. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we've seen you play some games. Where, where'd you get your start gaming? Um, so the very first game I ever played in my life, or so I am told, it was a game on uh, DOS that was called um, D Slash Generation. And it is a, uh, it was a, a cyberpunk sort of themed game where you move, you start at the top. What's that? Isometric view. Yes. Top. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. It's like a top down and you start on the top of a building and you're supposed to move down through these various floors that are full of dangerous like traps and puzzles. And you have to kind of move in the correct direction and solve each of the floors. And yeah, it was really amazing. I, I, there's a photo of me as a baby um, seated on my dad's uh, knee as he's playing on his old like yellow tone computer, mm. and and I'm just like stupidly like a dumb baby looking at the screen of him playing this game. That was the first game I ever played. I did actually play that game later when I got a little older because I was like my dad was like, hey, that's the first game he played. So yeah, that was my start. And then I had an NES, and that was uh, that's Potters. really cool. Do you Hell, like yeah. remember any specifics about this yellow tinted computer? I uh, don't remember his first computer. No, um, I vaguely remember 
I think that the the uh the case for it got used for got gifted to my aunt who used it to build a uh computer for um my cousin at some point. It had a big red switch on it for the power up and down. You would go and had a big clicky switch on the front to turn the sh oh. the power on the computer on or off. Um, oh, that's pretty nice. Like, yeah, yeah, super, ooh. super old school. But yeah, um, but yeah, I don't remember what it was. Uh, my dad at the time worked for like a uh, he worked in like a factory, like manufacturing uh, computer parts, like putting them together, assembling them, and so he he was able to get like discounts on parts and stuff. So we were lucky to have a computer at that point in time. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. like, nice. My yeah. my first approach to games was also like with a DOS game, Descent. Descent. Um, just like this crazy. Oh thing. shit! I, I played um, a shitload of Descent when I was like a kid. You know kid. Yeah. Like he, one of my uh, my my dad's roommate had it, and so I got to play some. So that Descent, it's really really yeah. fun. It's very very fun, but it's yeah. super confusing at the beginning. But then you're just like mm -hmm. turning and flipping, fucking nice. And then you got an NES, you said. And yeah. I remember which games you had. Yep. I or, had, like... uh, I had, so the first game, the, so my mom brought in the NES home. Previously, I'd only ever played on, uh, on like PCs and stuff like that. Um, and my mom brought a box from a, a, a yard sale and was like, Hey, check this out. I got something for you. And I looked in and I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like, it's a, it's a gray box. What? And then I noticed the games, the like nice colorful covers of the games. And I had, uh, the Mario brothers, duck hunt, uh, duck hunt cartridge. I had, yeah. uh, Classic. there was, um, Mega Man six was in there, Ooh. um, which is a real good one. Um, yeah, and yeah, and really super hard. good. Like maybe maybe the best of that of the whole mm -hmm. early games. It was oh, really like, really good game. Wait wait wait. How, how into Mega Man are you? Oh, I I played a lot of Mega Man. Yeah, like a ton. Oh, yeah. Yo, so, yo, Mega Man is like my favorite franchise. I have like Mega Man tattoos. Oh my <laughs> god, that's so pog. That's so <laughs> yeah. cool. Um, Mega Man Six being the best one on NES. <laughs> yeah, maybe a hot Mega take. Man I, Three. I, I liked it. I liked okay, it. Okay. Uh, Listen. Yeah. I just I, gotta I, quickly call out. Uh, L is in your chat making fun of us uh, <laughs> by posting Twitter.com/slash home. <laughs> a clear call out of uh, the in our first time streaming. Uh, we were quickly trying to link our socials, and I miss set up something. So instead of linking our Twitter, it I just linked the homepage to Twitter. <laughs> Uh, Excellent. Just right now, like, anytime he's like, "Yo, follow us on Twitter." Twitter comes yeah. like, yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. So then uh, I had a couple of sports also games. Also, Mega well. Man Battle Network. Let's go. Mega Man Battle. Network. You, I'm looking at your chat too, so I can respond to people on. Hell yeah! Games. There's a lot of Damn. all the chats are bumping today. We got a lot of people hanging out today, so that's cool as hell. True. Um. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. It's Oh, that sound, that sweet sound. What? Oof. Oof. Oh, yo, that. Excuse me, are, are, are we popping cans? It's a pop I, can. I, I mean, this can has popped. <laughs> God damn it, Silent. God damn it, Silent. <laughs> Justin.tv slash home. Oh, do you geez, remember Justin? Going back TV? in time. Oh, actually, of course I do. That I wanted to ask you. This is something that I wanted to ask you. Um, I don't know, like, at least for me, I've had like a couple of cringy ass 14 year old youtube channels i'm 27 now uh -huh. and like i remember being small like be being really little and like making like gimp tutorials like for for this photoshop alternative gimp wait is is that a bad word i suppose <laughs> i mean no. I, and i i think i, I feel like there's another in certain context word. but probably not here i see yeah, yeah in this context we know what you're talking about yeah you know? At 14 years old, they were like, yeah, game tutorials on my computer or how to make, like, lightsaber effects or whatever. And, like, I stumbled up uh, across them, like, maybe, like, a couple of weeks ago. So I wanted to ask you, do you have any lost media, any Demon Mama lost the media from, like, an old YouTube venture on an account that you've forgotten the password to, which is my case? Lost? No. But forgotten? Yes. There is, it does exist out there. And uh, maybe I'll show it someday for some sort of special thing, but it is, there's some really cringy stuff out there. I, I, uh, so, uh, 
some people know this, I went to film school, uh, never finished film school, but I got accepted to one of the hardest to get into schools in the United States for film. And the reason that that was even possible is because I, uh, in the early days of YouTube, decided that I wanted to post my short films and stuff to YouTube. So there is a, a handful of my short films on YouTube out there. Um, I'm trying to remember. There is one that's called um, uh, The Dude Next Door is one of them, is one of the films. Um, it is about – it is a short film about uh, – a creepy murderer who lives next door to a kid and the the murderer tries to kill the kid and the kid has to fight the murderer and in the end the kid becomes a murderer because he has to kill the murderer and he tears we made a special effect where he tears cool. uh, a fake heart out of the chest of the murderer and it was it took us all day to put together the prosthetic thing for it and it was super <laughs> super lame it looked so dumb but it also looked really cool at the same time it was a uh, we made it out of a potato with straw with like uh straws sticking out of it so it looked like a heart like because it had like the little tubes coming out and <laughs> and the straws had extra blood so when it when when it got pulled out this blood went and popped out and it was it was wild i have a zombie film um out there that was um incredibly incredibly stupid and cringy but also very also very fun um we did a special we did a lot of special effects for that movie including two watermelon explosions um, to represent the uh, the heads of zombies exploding, where we did How do you these mean like oh so well um, one way that we did it was we had a uh, we did like a little a cut trick where like at the last second uh, the axe that we had coming down like cut away and then it was we replaced the watermelon with like we put a wig on the watermelon and colored it skin tone and so like the axe went down and then it cut real quick to the watermelon it was like. Pfft you know and nice. uh, we had bored out the watermelon and filled it up with corn syrup red corn syrup and uh, so it like nice. splattered all over the place it's all chunky and nasty and then the other one we actually got uh, my friend's dad was like uh he was like a, an ex-military guy and he had a bunch of guns and stuff and so we were like hey would you help us make something and so we put the camera up in like this little box like we, we just like put the camera there and then we had a watermelon that we had done the same thing to and we put the outfit together and then he just shot the watermelon with a giant shotgun and uh <laughs> and it it blew up and sent chunks everywhere and we just had the camera like close enough that it was like out of the range of getting hit but uh, close enough to capture it getting shot and then we also did a really cool thing where um i uh oh yeah and then there was another vi movie oh actually i got another real good one this is a great topic because uh I also had a channel, which actually this stuff might be lost. I might be able to find it at some point, um, but I think I only ever uploaded it to like a uh, Rever or something like that, some old like alternative to YouTube. And right. um, I know nobody even knows what it is anymore. I don't even think it exists. But uh, <laughs> but I did a review series. Um, but I was very inspired by like. The, the the reviewers people you know like uh like angry video game nerd and that guy with the glasses and Lindsay ellis early Lindsay ellis when when she was nostalgia chick and uh True. and i was super inspired by all them and so i decided i was going to do a a reviewing channel that was called the um the amateur literary critic and did, uh, you, de did you debunk christianity uh, and, no. and his JWs? No. no, I didn't. No, I, it was purely for the memes. In fact, I, I did a, uh, I did a bunch of dumb videos about like, um, random, like random angry ranting videos about books I didn't like. Like that's how nerdy it was. It's just like, I don't nice. like this book, and I'm like, all right, it's stupid, and and yeah, it was dumb, right. but it was fun anyway. So we had lots of, again, lots of special effects and silly things like that. What, what was your hottest uh, uh, book critique at the time? My hottest book critique was uh, a book by, I think it was by f like Frank Peretti and one other guy. I can't remember his name. I always forget his name. It was a Christian uh, book. It was a Christian fiction book um, called, I think it was called House or The House or something. And it was, uh, it was like a Christian uh, horror mystery novel. And it really just really lost itself in the plot and really made no sense and i had a lot to say about it and i i thought it was very silly um and uh i did a whole thing where at the end of the book i uh the book came alive and tried to kill me and then i killed it by uh 
by um shoop the whooping it so like if you remember that nonsense uh yeah. that was that was yeah. a meme at the time so yeah i had a thing where I was like, the whoop. and we did a whole special effect where it got blasted oh. away yeah I'm, I'm sorry i don't know like how old are you are, i think we're the same okay. age 26, i'm 30 27? i'm 30 oh shit okay yeah i know i'm uh, i know right. i'm old for the twitch space i guess yeah <laughs> There's a lot of zoomers uh, so on here. I looked up this book. Uh, I looked up this book, and the other author of it was this dude named Ted Decker, who looks Ted like Decker. a discount Chris Angel. Yeah, Ted Decker, that's the one. Yeah, um, and... discount Chris Angel. Hell yeah. Yeah, was it House or or was it Oops. was it called something else? It was just House. It was just House. It was just yeah, called yeah. House. Yeah, you nailed it. Nailed it in one. Yeah, it was a right. very very <laughs> very weird book. Um, there was. Like, I, I don't know. Like, God, there's so much I remember about it because it was such a weird book. Like, there's, like, this pudding eating scene in the middle of the book that I think was supposed to be, uh, it was supposed to be, like, some sort of thing about, like, an analogy for sin. But it was actually just, like, this lady got stuck in a room and had to eat, like, crappy pudding for, like, for, like, a chapter that made her feel sick but then didn't do anything else. And so I was just like, is this, like, a, is this, like, a, weird kink thing like it is, is yeah it, is that right? what it is because it didn't the analogy didn't make any sense and it just kind of disappeared and so i was like did does this guy just have like a thing of like putting a christian lady in a dungeon and making her eat like bland pudding because that's really what it read like and even at the time is i was kind of like yeah i guess whatever yeah, no no like shame just, in matilda yeah. Fuck, yeah, I, yeah. I have so many horrible things to say <laughs> Jeez. That's so terrible. Sorry, I'm looking this up on Wikipedia right yeah, now. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna welcome summary. you're gonna welcome in a a strange a strange bunch of spirits by checking into this book. It is a very weird mood, and Christian horror is is its own rabbit hole. But I can tell you, this book is one of the weird ones. As you know, when I was a kid, I read Christian horror books and stuff because I, I don't know, I've always been a horror. You know, I've always liked horror. But when you're a Christian, you got to read the Christian stuff. So it's always like oh, on oh. horror, yeah. on horror niche, like. Are you familiar with like like redneck horror? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like I didn't know that was a thing. And like when I got exposed to it, I just like looked at, like a bunch of movies and like small films and whatever. A lot of <laughs> it's them. so frightening. Lot of them. No one wanna be in the South ever again. Holy well, fuck. Well and, and technically this book <laughs> does fall into that category. Uh the setup for this book is uh these people are like driving out in the middle of the woods in like some vaguely southern state. And, uh, and then Alabama, yeah, it's like Alabama or something. Yeah. And then, um, they run over like a spike strip in the road and then, uh, and then these Hicks basically bring them in and then it's, and then while they're there, a mysterious dude who's like, I don't know, he's a guy who's like a jigsaw type dude or something. He's kind of like a mysterious evil guy who's playing a game with them. And then the, the 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 Hicks are like his minions, but so yeah, it is technically like it is technically somewhat touches on redneck horror, but yeah, that's what I'm hearing is it's saw cut with Last Cabin on the Left or something like that or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, there's definitely elements of those of those in there. There's definitely the Texas Chainsaw elements because the guy, the villain, the main villain guy is kind of like. Um, like he's presented as like he wears like a weird i think he has like a weird mask that hides his face so he like has no face he's like a guy with no face and i think oh, he ended up being creepy. satan or something yeah i think he ended up being satan or something but um but very christian horror very very <laughs> christian horror oh. like i mean literally like at the end it's like there's like this random young girl who gets introduced as the story and she's like super super good and then at the end it's like oh you have to rescue her and then and then and then she was like, actually, I'm an angel the whole time, and God's really happy that you took care of me. Thank you. And then that was the end of the story. I'm like, Wild. Uh. So yeah, uh. even even super Christian me was like pretty hard on that book. I went pretty ham on it, you know. I blew it up with a shoop to whoop. So <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you gotta do it. Uh, There's something I want to share. Hold on, something I want to share. Um, you just like revive the memory in me. Um, when I was. I don't remember, maybe 19 years old. I was backpacking. Like my idea was to backpack like all of north of Chile, uh, part of Peru, Bolivia, and come back uh, through the top of the desert of Chile back to Chile. And like when I was taken, I was in Peru and I took like a bus and the shittiest bus. It had like, like it was raining 
torrentially and it was full of holes and like bugs so like people were like it, it was a floating bus moving and people oh were like God. oh yeah this is normal and like <laughs> it was like in a pretty you know like non-populated area of peru and uh they had a tv and this tv like small bus tv and they were playing this argentinian christian movie holy fuck it was like about this guy who was a classical musician and then gets convinced to play the devil's music and starts playing metal and has like a really like super bad metal band and and because of this like he loses touch with his family and he starts like like you know like using makeup and the black nails and whatever and like <laughs> they're like his family will like uh reunite every night and like pray for him and whatnot yeah. and then he gets like a girlfriend and the girlfriend's like addicted to drugs and then he gets into drugs and whatever and the turning point of the movie is like there's this mexican dude who like kidnaps him for some reason i don't, I don't remember honestly but like he kidnaps him and puts him in the middle of like a parking lot and just like stands up with a gun put the gun to his head and says like tu crees en dios like, do you believe in God? <laughs> and the guy that, okay, has like this epiphany moment. I can, I can moment. give you some context for this. Okay, that <laughs> okay. specific thing that you're describing right there is... Wait, it's a thing? It's a thing. So there's this thing that like, okay, so, and it's really, this is like a narrative. It's a, it's a trope <laughs> among Christianity. And the idea of, um, of somebody for some reason holding a gun to your head and asking you whether to, to renounce God is a recurring trope in Christian, uh, in like Christianity. Now I, I grew up very, very super Christian. Um, you know, as my, as my content probably reflects to a certain degree because I talk about it all the time, but, um, that what, that was a story. There were always, always different stories from, oh, maybe it was this time it was in China or this time it was there and it was a communist this time, or maybe it was a Nazi or who knows every time there was always, wow. they always had these stories of like, yeah, my grandfather was held at gunpoint and it was a, it was a recurring trope and Christian media to this day, you will still find that happen in Christian media to this day. Although they don't like the violence that's, as much, but yeah. That's very fucked up. Oh my God. But like, yeah, like, like exactly that happened in the movie. Just like the gun to his head. Do you believe in God? And like, he has like this epiphany and like sees his life as he would have been oh fuck no wait i forgot the best part the devil shows up. okay okay so he has this epiphany and the devil shows up the literal fucking devil this turns into a superhero movie for like 10 minutes and i just remember this so like the devil comes and like uh, okay the, the devil comes and he's like no you're not they're not taking you away from me <laughs> and then like an angel comes and they have like a laser shit like a like a voldemort versus harry potter like 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 energy like fight i will find that movie i will find that movie for you demon mama i will find it please so, like, that would be so <laughs> good to watch we could totally okay so i i know that now silent knows this l you might i don't remember if you were there but we oh, watched gosh. uh we watched this incredible so i i've been i've been a little behind on scheduling them but you Previously, every month we would do a mod night where we, where I just hang out with the mods and we usually watched a movie. And we watched a um, we watched they sold their souls for rock and roll, which is a Christian uh, may, was a a ninety eighties and nineties Christian mail order multi part documentary about how Satan was taking over America via rock and roll, and it is incredible. It is actually I, amazing I sounds so good <laughs> where we do i sign up for that we, we could well, totally watch this for a mod night and i would invite all of you to our as guests to our mod night if we decide to watch this film for that, please, that would be i just want to know where you can mail order to get these documentaries from well the uh, cool thing is guess what <laughs> they sold their souls for rock and roll is still sold online you just need to search it and you can go to the guy's website and you can order and now it's on blu-ray but it used to be um, oh. and in fact it's really funny because um we found they had a blu-ray release well they did have a blu-ray blu-ray release yes they have and and the funny thing is if you can get the rips <laughs> and i did get the rips of the original version that was on vhs there has been like three or four versions of it um and the original ones has a huge amount of end day prophecies that ended up being wrong that they have now cut out of the current versions. So they're they're burying the tracks of when they made predictions that were just horrifically wrong in the past. But you can still find them if you get the original versions off of like, you know, some websites that are good for finding that sort of thing. 
god did they put in new uh new end day prophecies or no actually i don't know i think they decided to stray away from those um because the new the new version doesn't have any of the end day prophecies although it still has um a whole lot of the of the you know prognostication about how rock, rock and roll is ruining everything and they've added a couple of new little spots as well they have a youtube channel i think that has um recut videos so the guy uh, and his foundation are still around making videos but they're like it'll basically be like a, an in, a youtube style like talking head introduction and then it'll play a clip from the original stuff and then he'll go back to talking about it that's their youtube stuff now but it, it's nice. fascinating to me oh geez so like a rabbit oh, hole that's calling my name actually. yeah <laughs> well, yeah rolling it back sometime on that yeah what's the what where what got you into horror because like i know like big horror fan here like as a growing up super baby about it super baby about it and then like cult horror just like i i i had a a group of friends in high school that they decided we were going to do horror movie nights once a week we'd get together do a sleepover and it, it started with this movie called bio zombie which is this fantastic zombie. it's this fantastic uh like japanese zombie film and it's like its full name is something like crazy b and like tokyo tom take on the city or something like but then like when it was brought to the u.s got i i should find what the full name of it is uh one of the two main characters name is crazy b and there's never an alternative name given beautiful uh but like it has a romance plot between a zombie and a, a regular person in it. It has, um, it has what? like some of the um, most emotional turnings of zombies I've ever seen. Uh -huh. uh, the whole thing, it's like, it's just the whole thing is because of soda. Soda pop is is turning people into zombies. And there's a really big moral implication at the end. Speaking oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, we did get a hydrate in chat. So everyone, oh, yeah. everyone I do hydrate. have to be hydrated. Oh, oh man. everyone in this oh, call has to freeze. hydrate. But they might come out of freeze. Um, is it I back? don't know. It's back. It's back. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know if, where, where, what got you into it? Where did you start out? Okay, so, uh, it's, act. okay, so. I don't know if there was a single definitive moment. I think that yeah. probably the thing that got me most passionate about horror was um, was like getting into filmmaking because mm -hmm. um, for like horror is this this wild thing in the film world where it's like it's like horror films is where all of the like super uh, unique filmmakers seem to come from <laughs> like yeah it, it's like it's like all of the all of the like dirty rat like i i'm gonna figure out how to do this i'm gonna make i'm not supposed to i'm a poor person who's not supposed to be making films like whatever i'm gonna figure out how to do it they always start making horror and so yep. there was like a lot of stuff for me to dig into when i started getting into film indie mogul were huge like b-movie horror buffs um and so mm -hmm. and of course james rolf of the angry video game nerd was really into horror um, and so I, I got into it that way, but I think I can think of a couple of memories that, 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 that call out to me as, uh, times that I was struck emotionally by horror and that sort of, uh, like started the mental process that made me addicted to horror. And mm -hmm. I can think of one of them, um, right off the top of my head. I, I remember I was probably, I think I must've been in like sixth or eighth grade somewhere in that range i don't remember exactly um and i read this book called the island of dr franklin which was a spin-off like it was like a, a reimagining of the island of dr morrow which is a famous story um and the island of dr franklin was very different it was modernized and i was reading it really late at night and i used to have uh, i've always been a night owl my whole life so there was for big chunks of my life, I would just be up late. My rest of my family would be sleeping and I would be either reading or watching movies or playing video games or writing. Um, because that's what I did. I was just a night owl by, by nature and nobody else in my family really was. Um, and so I remember one night I was up super late and I was reading this book and there was a passage 
It's very creepy. So I'm going to, I'm going to retell it to the best of my ability. But, um, the premise of the story was that this girl got, uh, got, uh, stranded on an, on an Island. And, uh, because after like a plane crash and, uh, in the beginning of the story, there was a sort of setup that like, she ma made like a friend on the, uh, on the plane. Cause it was a long flight or whatever. And so she ended up talking to this friend and, uh, they did this whole thing where, you know, like they were really friendly and then the crash happened and she was like super injured and like they really, really wrote the tribulation of like trying to survive. And there was this one scene where she's sitting on the beach and she saw something out in the distance and couldn't quite figure it out. And it was, it looked like someone was waving to her. And, uh, as it turns out, the friend who had been kind and was waving and welcoming on the pl plane was like her body was lodged between a stone and the ocean's water was was making her wave. Ooh. Isn't that horrifying? And I read That's that so good. and I like my blood ran cold that night. And I was like, That's oh, my very God. Scary. That's like a very scary concept. And I was like, holy shit. And, uh, and like her realizing that like, this was like a dead person and this was the friend. And like, there was that parallel to like the friendliness before being totally subverted into horror was just like, and I was just like, Oh fuck. And so I, I still, again, I still remember that to this day because it scared me so bad. I was scared shitless and I like, I couldn't even sleep. And it was like, Oh my God. And so then I realized like, Oh wow. Like horror is very powerful and it totally got me invested in the story um so yeah yeah uh that th th i hope that answers the question relatively well <laughs> no that's yeah. great i think uh, especially from like the filmmaking perspective of like i feel like a lot of people get into it because horror it this is gonna feel like it doesn't make sense but i think it's gonna make sense so we're gonna play with it uh wrestling <laughs> uh wrestling has some of the most brilliant storytelling on earth because it's kind of it's like simplified to its core and told through literally decades, right? Like that's why wrestling storytelling is like, it can't be too complicated because like people aren't going to retain it. People aren't there on, on face value. You would think people aren't there for the story, but like people are actually there because they want, like you have to know these beefs are going for years. Like, yeah. Uh, in real time. And so yeah. I, I think that like, horror from a storytelling perspective does a very similar thing of like it takes these really simple concepts and through like the tension of horror can make them really profound and exciting to do mm -hmm. so it's a it's this lens that it's like like heightened violence on one end lets us tell these really great stories over decades and like horror through tension and sometimes heightened violence <laughs> um lets you do the same thing uh, and i think it's why a lot of people get into horror when they're thinking about making films or like doing film critique because like i think everybody i know that does film critique is like yeah i watch a lot of horror and it's because there's like there's so much more you can do yeah well i mean horror. and also it provides and it, it provides the thing about horror is that like you could tell a simple story and still accomplish something exciting and fun with horror like with yeah. horror like even if you watch a shitty horror film like you're probably going to see some some really fun special effects and like so a lot of filmmakers try their hands and are very experimental in, in horror and so you get a lot of treats and yeah there's some duds as well but like that excess it's very accessible let's just put it that way <laughs> yeah e evil dead in of itself was like a failure but it showed what the you could do for an yeah. evil dead too. Yeah. If you took away trying to make a good movie and instead just made it what it was, this exhibition of like really good schlocky, uh, yeah, just having real fun time action. Like, yeah, yeah like that, yeah. that's what made it. And then, uh, yeah, evil dead three, we kind of, for me of darkness, we kind of went over the, <laughs> the wall on that one. And it, some people side on one side, some people, say it, it kind of lost the ball and just became a, a wild comedy uh i don't know but i'm horror is so great <laughs> yeah i agree i, wanna, I love horror i, I want to like roll it back a little bit like to wrestling so you are into wrestling right yes um, i am yes i am i just like small question because like uh, it involves like a kind of controversial person have you seen a, a 
video sort of small film called The Wrestling is in Wrestling. Is that the one? Yes, that's the one with Max Landis, right? With Max Landis, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, that's uh, what I wanted all, to say. All like, controversy aside. It's really good. Yeah, yeah it is yeah. good. It is very good. Yeah, the video is um, well made, well edited. Yeah, there's also... Good if video you're... garbage creator sort of thing. Yeah, precisely. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's a another, another little short film. Uh, I think it's just called The Iron Sheik. Um, and I highly recommend it. It's available on YouTube for like one dollar. It's like was produced by the Ooh, the, the cuz or the uh, nephews of the Iron Sheik, and um, that one's a really fun one as well. If you want to see like like a very a very real story, like a very personal, very messy, very real story of like one of the world's greatest wrestlers, like who has an amazing backstory and like all the shit he dealt with and like how like he had he completely washed out and somehow managed to get back on his feet somehow and it's like really wild. So, yeah, a uh, good watch. It's like a 30 minute, 40 minute uh documentary that's really good. I know what I'm watching yeah. tonight. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, Rhyme, do you think it's time? Oh, welcome to... Uh, 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 I, honestly, I hopped in to to see it, what was going on on your stream, and I heard uh, that you had dinner from uh, our our unofficial sponsor, Taco Bell, Think Outside Woo! the Bun. Uh, and you're just in time for the Taco Bell, Think Outside the Bun question of the day. Oh, shit. Woo! Are you ready? I'm ready for it. This is the it. second question we have. Uh, so... The second question of the day. You <laughs> are asked to be part of a polycule. Okay. With either Mario and Peach or Luigi and Daisy. How are you going to tell Mario and Peach that you can't say no to Luigi? That's the full question. Think outside the bun. Mm. You have 30 seconds. Well... Listen, uh, I'm going to be completely frank here and just say uh, I'm not super intimidated by Mario. Uh, you know, like, I mean, he's got a lot of tenacity mm. and whatever, mm. but that guy, like, you know, he's been kind of like inserting himself into Bowser and Peach's business for a really long time. And uh, mm. I, I get the feeling that he's a, you know, not to be crude, he, he, he's a little bit of a cuck i think and and so maybe maybe i think that if i just told him up front and was kind of like listen buddy luigi and daisy they're they've got they've got they're really creative they got the kink shit going on like i'm i can't can't do this he's just gonna be like oh shit and then he'll like it though he'll like like it because he's like he likes getting you know his little brother beating him it kind of kind of gives it itches the spot for him yeah oh wow well that's <laughs> The, the uh, secondary secondary question is that when you uh, when you let him know that uh, he can he, he, there's a peephole in the back of the tent that you'll let him use. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. I'll be like, listen, it's all good. It's all good. You can. I'm not gonna judge you. Don't worry. Just don't 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 shout Bing Bing Wahoo too loud when you're when you're finished. All right. Listen. Don't wanna don't wanna fuck up. Don't wanna fuck up the vibe. I would simply tell Mario that that's something that I need to discuss with Waluigi and Birdo. Oh, 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 oh shit. Yeah. True. Interesting. Does that mean it's does that mean it's Wario and Yoshi? Is that the is that the other couple then? Who's who does Wario get or is Wario ace? Cuz I can live in a world where Wario's ace. I think Wario Look, is um, like like in my opinion, I would say that Wario is uh he's he's like so into um coins, like gathering coins that like that's his only thing. And like so he he's not really super sexually compatible with anybody. But he might be emotionally if he can get over some of his issues, but he's mostly satisfied with just, you know, jacking it to some coins. Yeah, so, that's, that's fair. Uh, I'm sorry to inform. Is there a sentient coin? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to inform though. Wario mm. has been seen doing some inappropriate advances with baby Rosalina, so maybe we will keep him out of here. Uh, oh, I'm not into no. that. No. Wario, no. That. no, that's yeah, it. Yeah, listen, I, I think Wario. Wario is an ancap. Wario is an ancap. <laughs> I mean, it is true. He is an ancap. Yeah. I mean, haven't we ever that played? Uh, <laughs> wait, I can't even remember the name of it. Super Mario Land Two: The Six Golden Coins for the Game Boy. Yes. No? yes yeah. No? All right. Yeah. Amazing. Well, we'd like to let you know uh, we've the results are in. Uh, we've 
We've contacted our sponsor for the stream, and uh, they have in fact said that your answer uh, reigns in as the Crunchwrap Supreme. So congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I'll be, I'm feeling good about that. Sending you a, a six pack of tacos in the mail. Uh, it's going to be standard shipping. Uh, that's oh, fine. Uh, we'll, so, I won't, I won't I eat won't them, them, but I'll I cherish them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hold on to them. Put them on the show. Yeah, I feel like I, I, I might be a little Matt bit Pad. toxic. Oh, what's that? I'm sorry. I, I have a yeah, call yeah. from MatPad. He's saying that the next game theory video is Mario is a cock. It's just a theory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, now that's the video I must see. It's a must see video. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's when bound to make the channel grow a little bit. You know. Ah, oh, I love it. Listen, I, the best Mario honestly... game is Paper Mario for the N64. Hot take. Good one. Ooh, is that the best Vapor Mario? I don't know because well, I never, I never got to play the other Occam, ones. Did you listen? Yeah, I to be oh, fair, I didn't get to play. Yeah, so see, cool. I didn't get to play Thousand Year Door, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's hard yeah, to be an original Paper is... Mario, you know. Oh, because you haven't played the Thousand Year Door. Like it's it's just that good. It's just really that good. I should Paper I should Mario. Play. Like I, it's up there, absolutely. But the Thousand Year Door is just absolutely incredible. Uh, hmm. It's it's. It's gonna be uh, for me this one over here. This then be it's got to be uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Ooh, it's yeah. a good one. That's that's I was gonna say Mario. it's either Sunshine the or Dark Galaxy Horse. For me. <laughs> it's the one that like everyone hates, or like is the one that gets like less praise. Supposed to people, no, Sunshine was great. No, Sun people hate on it. Yeah, but people yeah, hate it's but true. It's controversial. Wrong. It's controversial. Yeah, but yeah. like, can can we all agree that the the Mario fandom is just a little bit uh, fickle? Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're very fickle. I agree. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, they, no disagreement I, there. They think I the really DOS like Mario playing... game's not real, and it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I liked playing uh, Mario Odyssey. I what? have. I played like I played like two hours of Odyssey, and I didn't like it. I found it boring. I like I, the music uh, in Odyssey. I mean, you can be wrong. It's fine. It the music is good. Oh, the potato no, the level. Oh, God. It was definitely an improvement over uh, Super Mario Origins. Uh, probably the best since Super Mario Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, played Super, I played Super Mario Odyssey and then immediately started playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey and just kept on being, this is the weirdest Mario, the weirdest <laughs> Mario game I've ever played. I mean, it's not as weird as Super Mario Valhalla, so yeah. Yeah, Super Mario Valhalla was a was a weird okay. way for them to take the Mario well, franchise. Okay, but like Mario Mario Black Flag Game of the Year edition, like come sure. on, it's fair. It's fair. When Mario when, when Mario when Mario the anti-state position. Yeah, well, Super Mario Galaxy is objectively the the better one. Mario Galaxy one and two, I would say two. Uh, but yeah, Mario Galaxy, absolutely best 3D Mario game for sure. Fair. For sure. Good for game. Sure. Uh, I'm going to put it out there. This is a hot take. Uh, Mario RPG is Mario my RPG is amazing. Mario RPG is so good. good. That's not a 3D. Yeah, it's yeah. not 3D, but I'm saying it's my favorite and it's the best Mario game. It is really oh, good. I mean, it's... Yeah. it's just okay, like... I have seen Mega Man DOS and it's a nightmare. Mega Man DOS is great. What are you talking about? Blip, 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 blip. Wait, you want to know? You want to know? Great. I'm about to pull some some Mega Man rank here. You want to know what happened? I had the Mega Man, Mega Man uh, Capcom uh, Tiger Electric crossover, a handheld uh, ba battery powered uh, game. Uh, it was a little plastic uh, handheld one off. And it was trash. It was so bad. But I had the Mega Man one, and I also had the Sonic one. The Mega Man one, for some reason, decided to use totally different art than uh, normally goes for Mega Man. So Mega Man looked like a, 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 a like a, a man, like a grown man with a, oh. a ray gun and a helmet and a, and a yeah. spandex suit. And he was going like this, and the game sucked. It was horrible but wait it, 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 it like a yo i had one of those when i was a kid as well i remember yeah. those it yeah. was garbo they it are garbo terrible. yes they were oh. terrible but if you were very very bored and you had nothing else that and you wanted it to hear the, the same bleep noise over and over again from you know a okay double a <laughs> battery yeah, power any, yeah. anything helped in a single wide trailer yeah yeah okay, exactly. so, so you had a tiger a tiger electronic handheld that just yep. goes <laughs> yep, that's exactly what it was yeah. and it was really funny because the the sonic one had a, a, this attempt at a sonic theme that was just like
and it's just like that was great. it that's what we got that's what we get here amazing incredible incredible no one no one has I to believe like, me but i but i did beat a tiger electronic uh handheld lion king how can you beat oh, it that's, Whoa, did that's you have to you cheat I'm pretty sure that's like a prerequisite for like uh, if there's a gamer heaven like what that is one of the things that will get you in no matter what other gamer sins you commit like oh. you're good. I'm gonna say gamer I, godhood. I mean, yeah, yo, we're if, reaching techno levels of of gamerness at this point. That's pretty gamer, yeah. yeah. Uh, two things. One, I own uh the official Mega Man Battle Network uh battle chips. Oh shit. Uh, if you didn't know, there was a TCG, but it was literally battle chips for Mega Man Battle Network, and I was one of four people that bought them. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean I might have a gamer. whole box of them? Do you remember That's everyone's crazy. favorite catchphrase from Mega Man Battle Network? <laughs> Jack and Mega Man execute. It's oh. all. Of, it's all of my. It's my three favorite things. Jack and Mega Man and execute. Yeah. Jack and Mega Man and execute. <laughs> you know. Uh, the, and the other thing, uh, I'm a preacher's kid. Uh, I'm not super religious, but, uh, my dad does give me permission to say this. If there is a heaven, y'all get to go there and you now have a pass and it's official because, uh, minister, Aww. minister wow. gave you that. So there you go. You're thank all set. You. I mean, thank you. Send away. Send away. Uh, thank you. For I don't the want it, cast. but thank you. Yeah, no, if you get, they you don't bad have fun. to go, I'm sorry. but like now you, you get a free pass if you want. Well, thank you and very much. You can, I appreciate that. Look, there you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it's it's very uh, it's, shout uh, out, it's that easy. Oh, uh, shout out to Jessica Metal on your chat, Demon Mama, uh, saying that the SNES version of The Lion King was pure rage fuel during the Wild Beast Stampede section. That game is rage fuel from beginning to end. That game is absolutely impossible, and we're gonna have to play it one day when whenever we get to that letter. Have fun yeah, with that. that game. Yeah, keep me away I from had that, that game shit. on Sega Genesis. Listen, and, I had uh, my fill of that in a JC Penny in rural in rural New England uh, while my mom was trying to figure out a new appliance that she wanted to buy, and I had to sit there, and the only <laughs> fucking game they had was that goddamn Lion King game, and so I played it over and over and over again on the demo system with one of those. The the, the controller is like welded to the actual like stand. Oh yeah, yeah. it's just like yeah. terrible. Yeah. But yeah. Can we can we get you on stream whenever we play the Lion King? Can you play it for us? Can <sighs> you play it for us? Uh, yes, yes, yes. If you, if you must, oh, I'll, if you must, I, I'll do it. I'll do an That's attempt, scary. but I can't promise I'll stay very long. Demon Mama, you don't have to flog no. yourself like that. Um, like <laughs> it's been a long time. Look, we played the B movie video game for the Nintendo DS for eight hours straight. How was that? Suffering, yeah. suffering is nothing anymore. I I feel yeah. no pain. Oh, the only no, question like, I have for you then is. The, do you like jazz? Uh, not anymore. Buzz, buzz. Not anymore, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I discovered through that game that I'm not a jazz person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I was like, yeah, in, in the process of this thing that we're doing, like like we've encountered some really, really bad games. Holy fuck. Like, especially because we're doing it like like alphabetically. So like we get yeah. no no filtering power of what we're what's coming next actually next stream we have to play like uh beethoven you know the the movie about the dog beethoven oh yeah yeah beethoven yeah beethoven, beethoven i'm sorry we're you know latin american stuff uh, we are <laughs> gonna be playing that next stream for the super nintendo let me know when you get to the, the let me know when you get to the home alone game or the dennis the menace game for oh. super nintendo oh. Oh. dennis the menace is coming coming closer but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i was gonna say that was a, that i mean was we rough, can send you the list one. you can just like pop in whenever <laughs> It's awful. It's awful. Oh, boo. That is the boo menace. Wanted. Oh god. Yeah, sorry. You get you get some guest dog barks. <laughs> the, SNES, oh. the SNES era boo. was such a weird era of games too, because like it was like there was a lot of advancement in game design, but they hadn't quite figured out what make like what level of difficulty and what type of difficulty makes a game like unbearable versus fun so there was a lot of yeah. games that were like on their core like on their face they're super cool like the, for example the star wars games for super nintendo yes. where it's like wow the music's yeah, incredible cool. the art's incredible but then the the like the life system and the continue system are so agonizing that it's like like yeah. oh, and the jumps wow. and the camera <laughs> yeah the and the camera, camera yeah good. there's a lot like the camera like locked camera that you can't see you can't look ahead and down even though it's these huge sprawling levels yeah 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 
Wait, uh, 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 Fall Gaia, y'all had any opinions on Contra 3? Contra 3 The Alien War is an incredible game. It's incredible to play uh, with two people and like beating it with a friend in heart is one of the most like satisfying things I've ever done. So yeah, Contra 3, incredible game. Play Impressive. it. If you haven't played it, play it. Yeah, We're also like going to be getting there soon. That's like within 18 games. Yeah. Uh, I have it on my SNES Classic. Uh, like I fire it up uh, every so often. Great game. Every stream, right? Because you definitely don't pirate any games. Oh, absolutely. We play every yeah, game yeah. legit. Oh, yeah. We, uh, every we game has every been bought. Yeah. I, I have a big box with every single Super Nintendo game. It's just too heavy, so I never bring it on stream. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. But <laughs> running it back to like, the Star Wars games, I remember, well, I... In the year 2012, 2013, I used to be big into speedrunning and I used to speedrun uh, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, and I had like a fairly good, um, a fairly good record at that time. And um, um, at that time, there was like this thing of doing blind races with your friends. So we did a blind race for all three uh, Super Nintendo Star Wars games in a row and no quitting, no quitting. And I won. <laughs> I won. It was eight hours and something, but I won. <laughs> that's 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 a chat. That is a challenge and a half. That's the sort of thing I don't it even sucked. know. I could it do. sucked. It yeah. sucked. And, and we played it on normal, not even on Jedi. It was like, no, we're we're not doing that to ourselves. It Awful sounds game. like there were no winners that day. Yeah, yeah, no winners that day, except me that I won. But <laughs> <laughs> one winners that day. Yeah, one winners. Yeah. <laughs> I remember a friend yeah. of mine had, had uh, a Super Nintendo. I was I was a Sega kid, unfortunately. Mm. Um, good game. There's some good uh, games on Sega. Oh, well, Sega Genesis had some really fun games. Uh, it's hard to name them now. Some uh, Acrobat. <laughs> I can, t- I can tell you. Acrobat one and two. Acrobat one Acrobat. and two. I like the Looney Tunes game. Uh, the Looney Tunes, Tunes game was in Animaniacs game was very fun as well. Uh-huh. Um. The X Men. But uh, I remember one? we would go. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, what was that one called? Uh, X Men. Um, I forget the. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. But also in that in that vein, Separation Anxiety, the Spider Man games. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. those were good, but like those beat 'em ups with like some rocking music. Yeah. The, they did. Not there was a lot of good beat 'em ups on but, on uh, Sega. Yeah. For sure. But uh, to get back on track, I remember me and my friends, I spent the night at uh, my friend Robbie's house. He had a Super Nintendo. And between me and my three friends, we beat uh, Return of the Jedi in 36 hours or something like that. We never turned off the system. And we slept minimally playing in shifts. (laughs) Incredible. That sounds like a road trip. Like a road trip. Yeah, it was really fun, but grueling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have any more experience with like the Super Nintendo in general? Like that—that's kind of our thing. <laughs> oh yeah, me. Oh, I could tell you my whole story with the Super Nintendo. So, I never owned a Super oh, Nintendo. Fuck. Yeah, I never owned a Super Nintendo. However, um, shortly after, uh, well, let's see. This would have been a few years after the initial launch of the N sixty four. Uh, I got my dad's old computer secondhand. And at that point I was like going on the internet and discovering things and whatever. And I figured out, wait a minute, you can emulate super Nintendo games. And, Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I jumped really hard into the emulation and I ended up with a massive library of super Nintendo games. And, uh, to me, I had basically discovered life's cheat code because it meant that I didn't have to go anywhere or buy anything and I could play an infinite number of amazing games. And so, Absolutely. or seemingly infinite. And so I played so many games uh, on the ZSNES emulator and another SNES emulator. Is that SNES? Yeah, amazing. ZSNES. Yeah, yeah same, it was NES same, or whatever. Same. Yeah, and I played like. I remember I played like a lot of different games, but the one that of course was, was one of the most important to me was, um, uh, Chrono Trigger. And, uh, I played the absolute hell out of Chrono Trigger. I played best character in Chrono Trigger, best character. Oh, my favorite character in Chrono Trigger, uh, probably Magus. Um, I, I love Magus. Like he's just like, 
I don't know. An edge lord. <laughs> yeah, he's an he's an edge lord, but he's he's good at heart and 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 yeah, yeah like I, I I don't know, like so good. He was trying to do the Frog right thing. Was the other of, one too? Yeah. Scala and whatever. Yeah, yeah, um, he was, and he was he, he, he had a hard team. past. Best three people team. Best the, three person game. team. Um, I usually ran, if I remember correctly, I ran with Chrono, uh, Luca, and uh, Frog or Robo, depending, because they both had okay. good combos. And I think, if I remember correctly, the uh, combo you, the the triple attack that you could do with Luca, Robo, and 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 uh, Chrono was like Chrono? broken. Was like broken. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah, like this atomic yeah. bomb from yeah, like yeah. a it's luminaire, like I think a you flare. Stab the, sto- the sword in, and then there's like a, an ion cannon type thing that just does an absolute mm-hmm. unbelievable amount of damage. Yeah, it was good stuff. Yeah. Do you remember exactly. that frog skill? Like we're just like a frog just bounces down on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, frog's theme is amazing. So good. That's what I was going to say. So good. Yeah, the music in Chrono was fan fucking tastic. That was the yep. thing that drew me to that game so much. Yeah, it was um, amazing. Uh, Nobuo Umatsu. Uh, it, it had like Fantasy. extra yep. space storage for it. Like yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. also the box art and and book and uh, booklet art were all done by Akira Toriyama, uh, the the artist of That's Dragon right. Ball Z. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and again, very beautiful art within the book. Yeah. And, and, Incredible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like if if they didn't tell you like that it was made by Akira Toriyama, you will be like, mm, this is suspiciously similar to Dragon Ball's character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Chrono is just straight up trunks. Like I think yeah, yeah. Just, like, <laughs> literally, up yeah. Yep. It's just trunks. Yep. So <laughs> and good. Luca is like um, Bulma, I think. Like the same thing. Yeah. Oh, but Luca, incredible character. I love, I love like Luca. Luca's character arc and like. Uh, the, there's like the this secret one ending the end, for her. Uh, where, Yes, the secret ending is so good. The the women only secret ending as well. Wait, I don't know if I ever where actually Chrono got talks. That one. Oh, I don't think I ever got that. It has actually. sixteen endings. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Endings. yeah. Yeah, so there was. It does have a, mil- um, a million endings. It's such a good game, though. Like, God. And then I'm trying to think of a couple other games that I played extensively on the Super Nintendo. Um, I did play Super Bubble Bobble a lot just because that was really fun. Um, it's the, really fun. Yeah, great game. Uh, I played. Um, I played the Super Mario uh collection that there was like a big uh collection that had some of the NES oh, ones and the new All-Stars. ones. All yeah, Stars. All Stars. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, All-Stars, I played the yeah. fuck out of All Stars. Um, and I played Final Fantasy uh two slash four, uh, which was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the one with Cyrus and and the that was a really good one. I really liked that one. I played Secret of mm. Mana. Though I barely remember Secret of Mana. Um, okay. Yeah, Secret of Mana game. is like uh, it, it, it's a thing for me because like people are usually like, oh, Secret of Mana is really good, blah blah. I find it a like completely terribly broken game. Like the gameplay is just like completely broken. You miss wrong. every time you like charge to a hundred and hit. Find you're bound wrong. to hit zeros. Awesome. You spam people the magic. You awesome. spam people the magic mistakes. spells towards the entire game, and then like at the end you're not even rewarded by it because you needed to like level up these two particular spells. And the story is absolute trash, Ma- bo- mostly because of the translation. But it's like. Oh no, there's a bad guy. Oh, here's the bad guy. <laughs> Every single time. Yeah, I will admit I barely remember the storyline of that game. Um, to be <laughs> honest. Like I do remember playing it a little bit, but um but uh I'm trying to think. There was another one. Um well, obviously linked to the past. Uh, I really loved that yeah. one. Uh, that was a good Great one. Game. And um yes, yeah, probably more if I had more time to think on it, but uh but yeah, my brain is not at uh, at peak energy today. I'm like hella tired. So, <laughs> favorite? Do you have a favorite link to the past boss? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I was always partial to to fighting like Aghanim because you get to go to the Bunny World and become Pink Bunny Link, which was always very yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> so like, once so you get to go fight Aghanim, it's like kind of very major moment. And yeah, I thought that was cool. There was a lot That's of good bosses good. in that game, though. Um. Team and Mama, uh, we understand you need to move to to your next segment. I assume you need to do your politics. Well, you, actually, you it's to, not politics. Go I'm going it's to memory. Go actually, yeah, it's memory tonight. Like, tonight I'm going to go, go take a cup of sake. Oh, tonight, memory. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink Ooh. drink. So I never drink. I almost never drink on stream, but I'm gonna have a cup of sake and we're gonna go over the okay buddy mama memes, um, which have been uh, snowballing for a while. And you know, I don't want to become like all of the other people who neglect their okay buddy segments. So uh, I'm going to not neglect my okay buddy uh, stuff. That's so. great. You gotta take responsibility for this. Exactly. I have. Did to you do know that the Super Nintendo's are debate streamers though? I didn't know that. Are you? <laughs> I we we have a debate, debate record debate. of, debate of one. Let's do it. Oh, no, no. So wait, we have a debate record of one, and we clearly we won the debate. And, we won, and we're yeah. we are now never debating again. Oh, yes, because well, that's like, perfect. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's a bad omen. It's a bad omen. Good. All right, like it's a bad omen us. because afterwards, some not great stuff ended up happening with that person that could have been foreseen, and we. We don't debate oh, now. I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to step in a cup of tea, but it appears I have. <laughs> oh, um, no. we'll do wait, 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 wait. Was this the tea, one was this the tea that was originally brewed by me and then ended up spilling everywhere all over everyone and giving us third degree burns, or is this something else? No, this was something yeah, else. Was oh, okay, good. No, 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 no. This I'll... was something else. Just was a little worried. Uh, okay. Every time I every time I hear about it, I'm like, oh shit, did I did I accidentally <laughs> do that? I'm so sorry. Here, I'll put it in streaming <laughs> no, no, text no. if, uh... <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, um, no, it was, it was a, you know, the debate was won, and thus no debates are necessary anymore, because exactly. perfect. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I, it was won. We were... Uh, we were debating in, in pro the use of of neo pronouns uh, by oh, someone yeah. who wanted to, like, blanket them, everyone. Ah. Well, yeah, and we said neo pronouns are based. Yeah, I yeah, think they're we're based. Like, well, yeah. I have my I have my I have course, my position like, on the neo pronouns and yeah. And yeah. my position so, is more people need to to adopt those like accepting positions for neo pronouns I I believe. Yeah, I mean uh, I think I think everyone I don't know if you all have heard my argument for it but I think it's rock solid which is uh which goes like this. I haven't. Um yeah, I'll, I'll give it real quick since we're going to you know one little toe in the politics but uh I figure if if aliens ever make it to us and uh, they're probably going to be socially advanced enough to be pretty pog. Um, and so I want to personally maximize the likelihood that I will either be uh, placed into an ethical zoo or be chosen as a, represent a representative to talk to the aliens. And I figure that aliens... It's a very good chance they could have like 18 genders. So I may as well get ahead on learning multiple pronouns. And that way when they find me, they're like, wow, actually kind of pog. You know, she's kind of mm -hmm. a, she's kind of ahead of I the was, game. I was hyped to hear like your real argument for them. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's I mean, hey, I that, is that, oh, no, wait, is that not a real argument. That's a real one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. It's a real mean, argument. Listen, I, I want to be ahead. Cool. I want to be ahead. Listen, if I if I limited myself to just just default fucking default dance pr ass pronouns then i i'm going to be limited i'm not going to i'm not going to pass the the based test to the aliens okay that's not that's a problem true i mean um, that true. that's a better argument than any argument against neo pronouns yeah true true Here, okay true wait the only argument against neo pronouns is that uh the matrix movies aren't that good and i don't want to hear neo's name oh get out of here ryan <laughs> yeah you can take that back Wow! I'm not even there for the Matrix movie. Me has been said on this stream. <laughs> well, do you see how easily you you dismantled the argument? <laughs> there you go. I, have it. I guess there's no good arguments. No, nope. I guess I guess there's just none. Uh, Please don't cancel okay. me. I think that the Matrix is pretty good, actually. <laughs> if, if you think that the only the first Matrix movie was good, then you haven't watched them since they came out, and you should probably like just watch all three in a row because they are way better. Like. Now, no. I thought you were going to say then you haven't actually watched the second two Matrix movies. I mean, I remember oh, I, mean, I watched them like a hundred years ago, and I remember not liking them as much, but I don't remember why. So, eh. mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Damer yeah. Smithy's going to have a video out here soon about it. Uh, I think oh, it's up shit. on her Patreon oh, yeah. right now. But Hell like, yeah! Uh, oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it you is better hope Damer Sophie doesn't watch Super Nintendo's rhyme because you're never going to get a sub like that. True. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today on, um, well, Damer Sophie was uh, streaming, and I, I was there in the chat, and like, uh, they they said like, oh, I recognize your name because like uh, we're both admins on on the server we're in right now, and and they said like they wanted to hang out sometimes, so maybe that that could happen sometime. That would, that would be great. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. that'd be yeah. Po- pog as hell. Just schedule it on a Yo. date that Ryan will be busy, you know? <laughs> Brian's the name on Demon Mama's chat says, Rhyme's mustache is dope. <laughs> Thank it you. Is. A whole new mustache. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> it's a whole new mustache. I did oh, actually mustache. shave for this stream. I did you shave did? so the mustache would be a little bit cleaner for you Advanced. all. Advanced. Oh, I also did, but I barely yeah. grow anything. So. <laughs> I uh, oh. I wanted to look um, my best for you. That's great. So yeah, like Thank you. Demon Mama, like big yes. big thanks for being here. Um, no problem. Happy to be here. Is this kicking off our partnership? Oh, what's that? Is sorry? this it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, we, we definitely need to. Yeah, I want to set up a Discord partnership for sure. I just, uh, I am like dreadfully buried in in my uh, it, my agenda of things okay. I need to get done. So I will task this one to 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 my my lead mod That's... who's in the call right now. You can get that set up. If you, if uh, there's there. something that I I would like to give you as a as a commemoration of it. It's <gasps> not ready yet, but I've been working okay. on it. Um. So like. If you see everyone at Demon Mama's chat, if you see at the top, it says Super Nintendo's in like those iconic Demon Mama letter letters. Um, I am making a small software which you can just like capture your window and it will like actually create like a lower third with an animation and you can just like change the name and the pronouns. So it will like automatically, you know, do this small rotating animation for oh, your stream awesome. every so often. And it, I'm, I'm going to test it um then i'm absolutely gonna extend it to you and then at some point i would like to like just give it to whoever needs it because like it, it's not really like a big deal <laughs> it's not something worth charging for but like that's beyond pog. that would be great that is yeah. beyond pog so 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 well thank you for being here absolutely that was, that was thank really you for cool. having me on thank that you. was really fun yeah. <laughs> you want yeah. any final meme closing thoughts everyone closing thoughts all of you Thank you for the follow, Dead World. Thank you for the subs and follows, by the way, that have been pouring from Demon Mama's community. Yeah, we seriously. Appreciate y'all, y'all go follow Super yeah. Nintendo's. They do chill-ass game streams. Uh, really? We also forgot kind of the pitch of... We, we took a three-week break because between, like, stress and life, we were like, gotta take time off. Uh, yeah. We came back, and uh, today we're kind of trying to raise support for an uh, organization, uh, Cosecha, which is a group that works for immigrant rights in the US. Uh, if, uh, L, can you drop a link to them in, there it is right there. Um, they're working to abolish ICE. They're working to help get uh, financial aid to undocumented workers or immigrants in the US because they saw no stimulus money. They exactly. have uh, no necessary means of uh, medical support right now uh they might even be struggling to get food right now yeah. um and so this organization is working one to help them uh fight deportation two to abolish ice and three to make sure that they're seeing financial aid right now uh yeah. which are all Amazing. really important things that's really so good. uh they actually they have a march coming up on may 1st so it's a really great time to be supporting them um we would love people to go and support them. We're donating anything that came into our stream today over there, but we also want people to go individually because uh, websites, by getting more donations individually, see more traction and get pushed through the internet algorithms. Uh, so if you can send some money that way, or even just like post a link to like literally drop chat. their website on your Twitter quickly, yeah. uh, it would help out a lot with something that we care about. Hell yeah. That would be really, really great. Um, Hell yeah. As someone who has like personally struggled with, with ice, I got deported. <laughs> and it was like the worst fucking thing in the world. The worst fucking experience in the world, I swear. Uh, like that, it, it's just like a really barbaric, uh, out of touch organization that really like only only helps to like, you know, um, like yeah, validate the fear. You know, the worst a people fascist. in our society that yeah. think that all of us are, you know, criminals and, and yeah. bad people and it's rapists bullshit. and you know, all of those things. So like, it would be really cool if you could do that. Um, and not through Twitch, because Twitch takes half and fuck Twitch. And yeah. um, and thank you for all the followers that have been pouring. We're also like preparing for a 24 hour stream that we will also like will like to to direct to charity. And usually what we do on stream, we are trying to play every single Super Nintendo game alphabetically. And we are now in like game number 50 or something. Uh, it's going to be a long journey. It's going to take like possibly years. But uh, but, but yeah. <laughs> I believe in you. And so do the imps. So the power of hellfire to you all on your long journey. 
<laughs> Don't Thank you so much. The hour before you start playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. We we are a gaming stream, and sometimes we just don't game. <laughs> it's a weird stream. This is chaotic energy at its finest. It's just that's Listen, all I can say. I I I'm here yeah, for that's it. That's my I'm favorite part it. of every stream. Uh, you know. bef before we see you off, we did get one last, uh, Card Shark 2 came over, dropped a hydrate for us all, so, why, why don't we, and we got another one from you, Pillow. so why don't we hydrate twice, uh, I'm guessing this is from the Imps. Here. Uh, we're up to three, cause Silent did it, so just really get a big old sip. Three. Everyone at home, hydrate as well. Yeah, get your you. fucking, don't dry out. No drying out. What? Yeah, if you hydrate, oh, if you don't, hydrate, government wins. If you, if uh, you, you hydrate, hydrate or dihydrate is how it goes. Okay, listen. Great. Yeah, All we right. made thank the mistake. So Our chat loves to making us hydrate, so we're gonna keep drinking water. But thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah, thank absolutely. You for coming. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Incredible. Thank you for having so me. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank you. Thank and you. Bye, Imp. Stay care. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 <laughs> That was so good. Did you all have fun? Did you not have fun? That was really cool, wasn't it? That was chill. They run a good show. That was fun as fuck. It was no politics, just chill. And that was great.